morning coffee it's the best so another question I get a lot uh, except for the ones I've already answered is what is the best printer if you want to print an open RC project and if you asked me two years ago my answer would probably have been totally different than it will be today and you know I haven't tested all the printers out there because there are simply too many so even if I would love to just tell you a brand and a model I can't do that but I can tell you what I would be looking for in a printer if I would get one today and to make things more complicated uh, the only project that would differ from the others is the Truggy if you want to print the open RC Truggy you're going to need a more higher spec printer if you like that can reach higher temperatures and print materials like polycarbonate and higher temperature nylons etc but uh, I'm moving away from those kind of materials because the whole idea with the OpenRC project is that as many people as possible should be able to engage and make their own so there aren't a lot of people that will print materials like polycarbonates for example so I'm going to try to use maybe more more PLA more copolyesters uh, that are coming out and are great materials so if you want to print something like the Truggy, you need to look at a printer that can reach temperatures up to 280, 300 degrees perhaps to print polycarbonate, uh, as I said. And uh, other than that, for the other projects like the Touring car or uh, the F1 car, the 450, uh, 450 quad or the FPV race quad, a printer that can reach 250 degrees, which is probably the norm these days would be work just fine but I would also like if possible to have a enclosed build chamber because if you do things will get easier and even if there's a lot of printers out there that I have myself that are open and can print a lot of materials that you will come to a certain point where having it enclosed will definitely help so look for that and I would also prefer a heated bed sure you can print you can probably print most things without it but as with a enclosed build chamber a heated bed will help a lot with adhesion and parts sticking to the bed and things like that so it's not an easy answer but Excluding the Truggy, something like a Flashforge Creator Pro or Flashforge Dreamer or a similar machine to those would be, do just fine. And uh, I'm not going to elaborate more on that, but those are the basic outlines for a machine that I would get. I have a MakerBot Replicator 2X, which has been my go to machine for all of these projects. Uh, and uh, I mean it's just printed everything I throw at it so I love that machine but it's a bit expensive and you can't even buy it anymore so no use to look for that um, so I'm gonna end this video now but if you have more questions about machines to print the OpenRC project please don't hesitate to ask me either in the comments or just tag me on social media and I will do my best to answer those questions and or try to elaborate on this video maybe uh, more in the future so thank you guys for keep asking me a lot of questions and I will try to keep answering them as well so I'm going to go to work right now and answer even more pr questions about 3d printing I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope to see you in another video thanks for watching